Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on laptop features. Today I'm going to be talking about special function keys, then we're going to discuss the differences between a docking station and port replicator, and then we're going to conclude with a portability issue. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. And of course, we'll start with special function keys. So laptops are a type of mobile device that allows the user to take a significant amount of computing power to almost any place, any time. While that is a tremendous boost to productivity, it does come with some trade-offs. The smaller form factor and portability mean that some concessions and adaptions must occur. Most often, the laptop doesn't have the same number of ports for connecting devices as the desktop. Additionally, monitors and keyboards tend to be smaller. On the plus side, many laptops have features built into them that are not present in most desktop computers. Laptop manufacturers have added some capabilities and options to laptops that are commonly accessed through the keyboard. These features are typically engaged through a special function key, an FN key on Windows machines or the command key on Apple products. Depressing the function key and then another key will access the desired action. Some of these include the ability to output your display to another monitor or a projector, to turn up or down the volume on the system, to adjust your screen brightness, which can either prolong your battery life or shorten it, turn on or off the keyboard backlight. By the way, those are very useful when working in a dimly lit environment. There also tends to be a function key or two that allows you to turn on or off your wireless capability, either Bluetooth or 802.11. The function keys that are present and their placement and their actual function is determined by the manufacturer of the system. So be sure and read the documentation that comes with the laptop. Now let's talk about docking stations and port replicators. Now both of these devices serve the same basic purpose. That is to extend or expand the functionality and capabilities of the laptop. Because of the form factor, laptops often have less ports available for peripheral devices to connect to, and they tend to have a smaller display. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about docking stations. Now, docking stations are about transforming the laptop experience into more of a desktop experience. They're designed and built for the specific laptop. The laptop is placed in the docking station, which offers a dedicated connection to external peripherals like a full-size monitor, full-size keyboard, and mouse. Plugging the laptop into the docking station automatically engages the desired peripherals. Many docking stations will also allow the laptop to connect automatically to a wired network. Port replicators are similar to docking stations, but a little bit different. They may be designed for the specific laptop, or they may be more generic or aftermarket in nature. The goal of the port replicator is to add additional ports to the laptop. A USB hub is a type of port replicator. Now let's move on to portability issues. So what am I talking about with a portability issue? Well, there is a problem. Because of their nature, laptops are very portable. Well, let's face it, that's the whole reason that we have them. But that also makes them very easy to steal. Now there are a couple of solutions for this. Many laptop manufacturers have built lock slots into their laptops. A cable, kind of like a bicycle lock cable, is placed around a secure object and then the special lock is inserted into the laptop's lock surface. Now this will not stop the determined thief, but it will reduce the risk of loss. There are also add-on cable lock options. They work almost exactly the same as the built-in lock slot, but the connection point for the lock is usually epoxied onto the laptop's case. Now, cable locks may be a fine solution for some, but they also are a little bit of a pain. Most people don't use them. 
Another solution to the theft problem could be the implementation of a tracking service. Tracking services will not stop the loss of a laptop. However, they may help in the recovery of a stolen or lost laptop. Many tracking services offer more than just tracking. They may also offer the ability to remote lock the laptop or remote wipe the laptop. All depends upon the services offer and what you pay for. Now that concludes this session on laptop features. We talked about special function keys, then we talked about docking stations and port replicators, and I concluded on portability issues. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this program, and I'm looking forward to doing another one.